What's up everybody, Burton Newcomb the Realtor here. Today what we're going to talk about is what is your earnest money and when is it refundable and when is it not refundable, right? Earnest money is a very important part of a contract. It's called the consideration funds by some people, right? That just says, hey, I'm this serious about your house that I'm going to put this amount of money down as my deposit to make you know how serious I am. Most people do $500 to $1,000. The more the better, that shows the more serious you are. I prefer to see $1,000 on a contract. Some people do $500. Is earnest money necessary? Yes and no. Legally, no. It is not necessary to have earnest money as part of a contract, but never have I ever seen a contract without earnest money go through or a seller even look at it. So, if you want your offer to be really considered by a seller, definitely consider putting down earnest money. I recommend $500 to $1,000 minimum to be put down as your earnest money, right? Now, this earnest money is fully refundable during your entire inspection period, right? You can back out at any point in time during your inspection period and have your earnest money fully refundable. Doesn't matter if you found another house, the sky's blue, there's some repairs the seller won't make, whatever the reason, that earnest money is 100% fully refundable to the buyer during your inspection period, right? After your inspection period, it is non-refundable to the buyer if they decide to back out after the inspection period. It would then go to the seller after the inspection period if you back out unless there's a financing contingency and it's a financing issue. The inspection period is when you do your inspections, you decide, you know, this is really the house for me. This house is up to my standards, etc. right? After your inspection period is over, that earnest money is non-refundable unless it is due to a financing issue in your financing contingency. Naturally, as you get past the inspection period and you move to the closing time, that earnest money is then applied to your down payment. If you cannot get financing for whatever reason in the financing contingency period due to a financing issue, then before your financing period ends, that earnest money is refundable only for financing issues or appraisal issues. Also, all determining what is in your financing contingency Anyways, everybody, that is when your earnest money is and is not refundable. I hope you learned something. Y'all have a great Sunday.